Hello class, welcome back. Um, right now, I I'm going to explain you uh, another math topic that we have been learning about. And today's topic will be zeros in the quotient. All right, so before we already uh, learned how to, how to divide, okay? Well, solving, solving these problems is not hard. It's very simple. You just need to remember the rules that we learned uh, before because they are going to help you a lot. Trust me, this is, not, this is not different from what you have been doing, okay? So follow me. This is, ex this is the exercise uh, that we're gonna solve today. All right, just think about this. In first place, remember, we need to take three Okay, and we need to compare it with this number, okay? I'm gonna compare it with 2. Don't forget to ask yourself this question. Is 2 greater, less, or equal to 3? What do you think? Well, in this case, you know that 2 is less than 3, right? Okay, so that's why only at the beginning, only at the beginning, remember that, we need to take two digits. So now, instead of taking two, we are going to take 27, all right? 27 seems like a, like a bigger number. What do you think? Well, anyway, now we're gonna compare 27 and three. In this case, you know that obviously 27 uh, is greater than three. Now, in this case, you can start dividing. Now. The next step, we are going to start multiplying, all right? And now, you need to look for a number in the three times tables that approximates 27. Let's see, we're gonna write the, the times tables just in case you forgot about them. Okay, so we're gonna write uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and 27. I think that's enough. Okay, now from all these numbers, which number approximates or is the same as 27? Obviously, 27. And we form 27 by saying 3 times 9, right? So we're going to take 9 and we're going to write it here, okay? Above the 7, okay? Remember when you take two digits, you must write the number about the last digit you took. So, now we already know that uh, nine is a number that we need in here. So we're gonna say nine times three, that will be 27, okay? So we write 27 over here. Don't forget to write the sign, take away, and then it is time for you to take away 27 and 27. That will be zero, okay? Now, we are not done yet. We need to bring down the last number, which is 2. Okay, now this is very important. Again, compare 2 and 3. Is 2 greater, less, or equal to 3? What do you think? Well, if you thought about it well, you know that 2 is less than 3. And if we look at the times tables, there is no 2 over here. Uh, over here there is no 2. So what do we do in that case? So since there are no groups of 3 in 2, the only thing that we need to do is to write a 0, okay? Because imagine what if you try to make a, a group of 3 with only two things? Can you make a group of 3 with these two things? I don't think so. So that's why we say that there are no groups and we are going to use a 0 to represent or to, or to tell that there are no groups in that number and then we say 0 times 3 is 0 and then let's bring down the 2 okay so in this case 2 will be the remainder okay then we write remainder 2 and well this is the way we solve these exercises just keep in mind that you need to compare and if there are no groups use a 0 Thank you. See you in our next class.